All right, welcome everyone um, to the second part of the empathy, developing empathy course. Um, so last week we were able to do consolation for judgment and creation for the desire to judge for I think four people. And then hopefully you guys had a chance to kind of explore that on your own for yourself or we got a local one happening this Saturday at clinic. So if anybody wants to come in in person, we can develop that a little bit more. Um, for today, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have three people representing in for each person. We're gonna have one person representing the person, the subject, one person representing judgment, one person representing empathy, and that's it. And then we're gonna have like a dialogue or an experience of what it's like. And we're just gonna have, that awareness, uh, I don't think we're gonna need to do any kind of intervention or changes, just, just to observe. And then we'll switch to somebody else and then we'll take three other people. Like I just wanna keep going through the, the basic tension of connecting to the judgment feeling and then the empathy and the contrast. Uh, and then we'll see how far we get and how many people we can get to today. Um, okay, so who would like to start? Who wants to be the first person consulate? Okay, Dax first, and then Casey, and then Holly. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. So, Dax, uh, we're gonna have someone representing you, someone representing your judgment, and someone representing your empathy. So, three people, who's offering? Selena, Jill, and Holly, okay. Selena, who do you wanna be? Maybe I'll do Dax, I'll just go out, wing Let's it. Let's do it, let's do it. Okay, and then Jill? Judgment or empathy? I've been feeling judgment. Judgment, yeah. And Holly will be representing empathy. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so take a moment to set the intention to accurately represent the issue for everyone. Or not for everyone, sorry, for Dax. You will wonder I'm not 100% today. Okay, so Dax is representative. Selena, welcome. Uh, I'm just gonna have judgment speak and then let you have your response to it. Is there anything you're feeling you want to say right now about how you're feeling or? Um, a struggle, a struggle between judgment and empathy. You struggle. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. Okay. So Jill, judgment's representative. How do you feel about Dex? How, how are you treating him? Well, I feel very exposed right at the moment. I don't really want to kind of talk. So, but um, yeah, I, I'm not really fond of Dax. You're fond of Dax? I'm not really no. fond of Dax, no. Okay. Um, I, you know, I, I have to be honest, I, um, think he's kind of a wuss. Okay. It's okay.
hard. <laughs> Um, sorry, it's hard to separate my, like, Jill's feelings, my feelings from judgment, because, yeah. like, that's not how Jax is. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I understand. <clears throat> it's okay. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Okay. Um, Jax's representative, how did it feel to hear that from judgment? Um, fear. fear came out. Okay. Fear of uh, being exposed. Um, uh, feeling of being so judged and, and really not wanting to be a person that judges. Yeah. But I do sometimes, and, and, and I know I do, but I, I don't even want to hardly admit it to myself because I yeah. just have such a terrible history of judgment. Okay. I'm ashamed of, of, of judging. I'm ashamed okay. that I do it. And, 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 and you feel shamed by judgment too, probably? When you feel the oh, judgment? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I, I've been cruelly judged by others. Yeah. yeah. And now that the judgment is inside of yourself, do you also feel like shame? Like you say, yes. you don't want to be exposed? Yeah. Yeah, that I even have any feelings of judgment towards others makes me feel ashamed. Yeah. And but what's it like when judgment is judging you? Oh, shame! Okay. So, like, like I, I, part of me believes it. Yeah, are you aware I, that yeah. you're actually being? judged or you're being shamed or does it are you not aware of it when it's happening not in the moment I, I, I just know later I feel terrible and then I know that I was judged and yeah and I, I think I can't I won't really say anything and, because part of me believes that okay. that just if someone judges me there must be something in me that they see that I can't see, even if it doesn't feel like I deserve it. Okay. Thank you. And um, Empathy's representative, um, how do you feel about tax? I feel he's a human being. He's a young man, he deserves some friendliness and some kindness. He's been through a lot. He tries real hard and he wants to he wants to do good and just feels like he gets you know, pushed around, pushed down, and the judgment's pretty harsh on him. Um, sometimes it doesn't seem fair. Yeah. It looks like you're really aware of what he's going through. You're very aware of how difficult it is. You're aware of what he's been through. You seem very aware of what he's going through. Well, and that there's awareness, and then, but on the other hand, you know, there, it's, it's like there, there needs to be more work to. It just feels like, like things get slipped up, and then that, and then. You gotta look at it again, you know, and go, well, wait a second, you know, that was pretty hard or that was pretty harsh. And so um I feel it's a work in progress, but that judgment's just it's harsh and I have had enough in my life, you know. It's 
Yeah, I want to move on. Okay. Thank you. And Dax representative, what did it feel like to hear everything? Oh, whenever I feel empathy towards me, I'm, I'm just... I feel very grateful and like people who who truly empathize, you know, they yeah, they're kind and I feel like I'm seeing being seen. Yeah. And I feel very grateful for that. Very like and and I feel that maybe I can it, it makes me want to have those feelings for myself. For me, okay. like for me to feel empathy for myself too. If I could, if somebody can feel that for me, maybe I mm -hmm. can feel that too for myself. And then I want to give it to others too. Right, but I just think people can do it for yeah, yeah. But you know, you are listening to the empathy that is from yourself. That is your empathy that was speaking to you. Yeah. You already have that. Well, I I feel that I do. Yeah. I I don't feel that. It, it, maybe I don't express it very well, or people don't see it. But when they do, I I'm so. They see me, and I'm I'm very grateful for that. Okay. And what would you like to say to this empathy that is your empathy? What would you like to say to that part of you? It makes me... I would like to have courage, the courage to see it more because it, it does make me feel vulnerable. Okay to attack but I, I would like more courage to have more empathy okay to have it come out more like to express it better and more because I do feel it okay and empathy how can Dax be more open to you remember what it was like as a as a little kid and remember that little kid and and how you how you used to look at things and how amazing everything was and and how things felt and remember how you were treated and look at that little boy and and give him the love that he didn't always get to have. Allow, allow, allow it. Open, open yourself to that little person who who is just so naturally beautiful and naturally kind and naturally helpful and just let yourself be that person again and help yourself remove all the false beliefs about yourself just let them let them release help them to release Okay, thank you. And tax representative, how do you feel about these suggestions? Good. I, so I can see that my true self, my true self wants to do that. Okay. 
And judgment's representative, how do you feel as you watch the interaction? Well, <clears throat> when empathy started talking, I was getting really angry, mm. really, really hot and really angry. And then as she was, you know, or as he was talking, it just, I felt like I was getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And then it was like all these, like, pointy things kind of coming at me, but not, not to harm me, but to, I don't know. I don't know if I can describe it, but it, <clears throat> um, as, as then as Dax was talking and empathy was talking and, and the, de the description of the, the little child. I felt like I was that little child at one point. I was that little that little Dax. I was I was free and I was light and I was kind. And I lost that. Okay. And I started to reclaim that as Dax and Empathy were talking. Wow. Okay. That's beautiful. Thank you. Okay, I feel like this is a good place to stop. Just as an awareness point for Dax to uh, to go from there. Okay, and Dax, uh, do you want to thank your representatives and? Thank you, Selena, Cheryl, Holly. Um, what was that like for you? Um, that was intense. Okay. Um, it was 100% spot on. Okay. Like 100% to the 100%. Um, oh. right now, currently, my one ear is all hot. Hmm. So, just kind of processing it. Um, could you relate to what empathy felt like? Could you feel it? What that, what that? Yes and no. Okay. Um, I was most amazed by that. That was actually my empathy speaking. Yes. That surprised me, and when then judgment was talking, I was like, I was like, I'm not surprised there. And I was a little annoyed with judgment too. Um, but yeah, there's a lot there, and the reminder of the kindness I had as a child and the friendliness I had as a child. Uh, I did lose a lot of that. Um, mm. Growing up in the family that I did, I had to get tough and mean fast and I didn't like it still don't like it and Holly what was it like to feel empathy um at first a little foreign but <laughs> but then as you as you representing it, it kind of flows, but um, and surprising too. Just um, you know the words that the kind words that come out or the yeah the, the feelings behind them and everything. It's it was a bit it was overwhelming. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Gonna be a, a welcome stranger. We're gonna have to make friend with again. Yeah, I noticed how much empathy was very aware and very present and wanted Dax to stay present. Something just happened. That was a painful event. Don't rush out of there. Stay, honor each moment because it mattered. 
and how seen Dax was. Like I, I was just noticing those qualities about empathy to its decks. So I'm just curious to see what will keep coming up as we keep representing his issues. Yeah, thank you. You guys were incredible. And you were all three pretty goals for Dax. That was, that was kind of nice to have Dax be supported by that. Um, so Casey is next. So we need someone to represent Casey, Casey's judgment, Casey's empathy. Who's offering? Jill, Michaela, and Virginia. Okay, Jill, who would you like to, what do you want to represent? Um, maybe continue on the judgment, but so. I kind of, yeah. yeah, I kind of yeah. want to represent Casey. I kind of want to represent yeah, Casey. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I like representing I mean, Casey. <laughs> it's, it's nice to be, to be sensitive to judgment. The more you do it, the more you become aware of it, but let's take a break. I won't, yeah. Uh, Virginia, would, would you like to represent Casey? Empathy or judgment? Yeah. You mute. Um, I'm feeling really curious about empathy. Okay. Right now. Yeah. And empathy is mute right now, so that'd be a, a good one to start with. Michaela, are you going to do judgment? Are you okay with that? Casey's judgment. Okay. All right. So take a moment to set your intention to accurately represent. Casey's Casey and judgment and empathy. All right, Casey's representative. <clears throat> um, how are you feeling about setting this conversation? Um, feeling a lot of fear kind of okay. some tightness in my chest okay. um like I'm I don't know what people are going to say about me okay okay or or what judgment is going to say about me yeah yeah are they going to expose me okay. call me out <laughs> okay and Casey's judgment Michaela um how do you feel about Casey? Well, immediately I got like a cat, like a really angry hissing. Actually, it was a lion, um, okay. like really lashing out, but always retreating back into a place of like emptiness and aloneness. Okay. And then I saw a toddler, like it's almost like wanting to come out in this like vortex of destruction and then retreat and hide away again. Okay. Okay. But how do you feel about Casey? What do you think of her? Well, when I see the place that she retreats back into, I think she's pathetic. Okay. And I think that she's, like, I kind of like the destructive part of her. Okay. Okay, thank you. And um, Casey's empathy. Oh, hold on, hold on. Casey's representative, how did you feel about how judgment feels and how judgment acts? Um, it, it's accurate, I like to hide. I, I want to hide yeah. um, and I really wanted to hide when when um, judgment was talking okay. um, but mm -hmm, I kind of like the destructiveness yeah like yeah yeah I want to destruct I want to I want to do that yeah kind of like is that kind of like <clears throat> the anger still needs to keep moving yeah 
Is that what it looks like? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so empathy. Um, how do you feel about Casey? Um, I feel like she is trying. Um, the first thing I felt being empathy was that I had to take a step back because something um, bigger gets in the way and I have to step back for a while. And then there's a space and I'm able to go in and approach her softer side. And she is willing to open up in that space. So Casey's representative, how did you hear, how did you feel hearing about empathy? Yeah, <clears throat> the destructiveness kind of went away. And I don't, I don't feel like hiding around, around her. Like I don't feel like hiding around the empathy. I kind of want to hold her hand. I want her to be with me. Okay, you want you want her to stick around. I want, yeah, I want the that the empathy part feels so good, and it's like a soothing balm to the destructiveness, and I just want that to to stay around. Okay. Um. So empathy. How do you feel about? Casey's current desire that she like you to stick her up. I'm feeling elated, actually, hearing that. It just um, makes me very happy to hear that from her. Um, there is space to in that soft part where she connects to herself where kindness is so abundant and wanting to there's a desire to love starting there okay And Casey's representative, how does that sound for you? All my kind of <clears throat> tightness and, and anxiety kind of just melts away when empathy is around. Okay. Because they're nice and bright and cheerful. <laughs> Lots of flowers. Okay. And Casey's judgment, um, how are you doing so far in this conversation? It's good. I, I saw like really quickly that the, the being a, a feisty, destructive energy was just a front. Uh, and if I just drop the front, it's all right. Like it's not there anymore. It's about empathy and Casey and brightness. Okay. Okay, wow. I didn't see that one coming, but in terms of I'm just observing the judgments tend to just start to change. Okay. I feel like this is a good place right here because this is all brand new territory. We are, we're not very used to what all this feels like. So we'll stop here. Okay. Um, Casey, do you want to take care? Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Virginia. Thank you, Michaela. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of information. <laughs> okay. 
uh, I was surprised at how comfortable I am and how familiar judgment still feels. <clears throat> how my representative was picking up, I guess, on something that I'm maybe connecting to on a deeper level with empathy, because I like I didn't resonate with that um, until we kind of got into it more. Like when when Jill first said um, after empathy spoke, um, everything kind of calmed down. I was still shaking because I was like, this is too much this is too foreign, this is too scary. Um, and then as we kind of continued, then everything calmed down a little bit. But it was really, really interesting how how much more comfortable I was hearing judgment versus empathy. Yeah. Uh, and how about the representative? Is there anything else you guys can remember to add? Michaela? Just with the judgment, I just, it was kind of like it was this big puff of hot air. And as soon as you decide to be with the girl that wants to hide, it was like empathy could walk through the door with a candle. And then it was about that. It wasn't, and it was just a puff. Like it's really nothing. It's only the energy that we give it, that judgment. Wow. Okay. Uh, now I noticed that with empathy, there was, um, Empathy invited and waited for the softness and then was able, like empathy did not push itself. Yeah. And it's, yeah. Can you say more? I had this little vision almost like at the end there where she's going into her soft space, but she's still kind of like, <laughs> like, like fighting her way. Um, like she's, like she's, scared still so there's this like thing going on like this little kid with her fists up and she's just like that's like I'm like oh <laughs> that's uh um yeah and I just kept feeling like there's always an opening there's always a space to get in there and bring her into her soft space and bring her to herself so it um I I was I was not worried like well <laughs> Okay. Okay. Kindness is abundant. Wow. Um, okay, we'll keep going. This is the bridging. This is, oh, sorry, Jill, go ahead. I just want to add, just to confirm kind of what Michaela said, that it was like, as soon as empathy was like, Casey was aware of, of empathy, it was like that judgment just kind of went away so that mm. bringing that awareness into that empathy is sorry bringing the awareness into judgment through empathy i think is kind of how the it just kind of disappears mm. okay we're not used to empathy we're not familiar with it we don't seek it we don't open up to it so this is why we started with judgment today we're just introducing the idea and let ourselves even feel what it's like uh, that there's such a thing as empathy it's already within us so mm -hmm. I just want to introduce that idea um, Selena I was just going to confirm I had the same feelings that judgment has no substance Ha. Huh. Okay. that empathy does like it, it, it's just Ooh. like nothing it's something but it's nothing at the same time yeah yeah yeah, let's see what else we keep observing about, keep seeing these two contrasts over and over. Casey? I just want to add before we move on to the next person, I'm so grateful you're recording this. So <laughs> you're recording this. Because I'm going to need to rewatch that to remember what yeah. was said. <laughs> yep. And what that felt like, that yeah. felt sense. Yeah. Representing really helps to remember. So you guys keep taking turns to represent for each other. Because that's where you get that visceral knowingness of all the different aspects. What's it like? Even if you're representing the person, you're feeling what it's like to feel judgment and coming at you. So you're getting yourself sensitized. 
So it's a, it's a very good opportunity. Ah, okay. Wow. Um, so Holly is next. So we need someone to represent Holly. Someone to represent, oh, two people. Um, but I saw Karina first. So Karina, who represent Holly, Casey, and Dex. So Casey, what do you want to represent? Empathy or judgment? Uh, I'm feeling empathy. Empathy. Okay, and Dax, are you okay with uh, judgment? Yeah, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay. Ooh, I have to keep remembering who's doing what. Um, okay. So take a moment to set your intention. So, um, Karina, Holly's representative. How are you feeling about this conversation coming up for you? Um, a little bit nervous about it. Okay. Um, what are you nervous about? Feeling a bit fragile and small. Okay. Okay. So we just talked to um, judgments representative. How do you feel about Holly? They're pathetic. Pathetic? Small. Yeah. Small, okay. Weird. Okay. Nuisance. Okay. Laughable. Okay. And um, Holly's representative. What did it feel like to hear that from judgment? I couldn't understand Zach's word, last two words, comment, last two comments. This La accent. Laughable and nuisance. Weird. weird, weird, laughable, nuisance. I feel like I just want to go inside my self and hide. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree with it? Don't agree with it? Do you feel you have a choice? I don't feel I have a choice. I feel it, those feelings are familiar and I just want to shrink. Okay. All right. Um, like a deja vu feeling. Yeah. Okay. So empathy is representative. Um, how do you feel about Holly? I just want to cradle her. I just want her to relax into me. Um so that her true softness can really shine through and her gentleness can really shine through. She's a very, very, very kind, loving person and has a lot to share and give. Um, but she's scared of doing that for fear of getting hurt. Okay. Okay. So Holly's representative. How did it feel to hear that you know, empathy feel that you're soft, you're gentle, you're kind, you have a lot to share and a lot to give. How'd that feel like? Well, I was sort of feeling like in the in the first comments that the weird ricocheted with me, like the comment yeah. about being weird, that I was having a reaction to that. And then when this came in, it was so unbelievable like someone talking up for me, someone being there for me, someone representing my case. Uh, it, it was was 
yeah, it was so an unusual feeling um, to have okay. that. Okay. Does it feel believable? Yes, like almost, but almost like too good to be true or sort of okay. fresh, you know, but something I could open into, but almost like, can I really have that? Okay. Is that for me? Like, can I, is this happening? Okay. Mm. And Empathy, how do you wish to respond to that? It's already inside of you. It's just maybe feels so foreign or so hidden because it's been so long since you've accessed me. But it's there. And it can grow and it can be big um, and can be, can be everything that you are um, fully in yourself. You just have to relax and settle in to this soothing space. Relax into the soothing space. Yes. So how is representative? Is that something that's tangible for you? Is that something you're actually able to make happen? Oh, it's really good news. Um it might take a bit of doing. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really good news. It's a bit hard to get my head around it because it's, it's almost like cognitive dissonance. <laughs> yeah. Like, can that be so that I, all I've got to do is relax and there's this beautiful part in me? Yeah that I can relax into and find and it will grow. Um, I guess I, 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 I want to know how to do that. Okay. That's a good place to start. How do you relax into the soothing space? That's a good place to start to explore. And all you have to do is ask, but you're already asking. It's going to start happening. Um, so judgments representative, how are you feeling with all this conversation? Small. I feel very shiver shriveled. Okay. Anyway, I go, she's so bright now. If I go near it, it burns me. Wow. Okay. It, it, it's I had possession and then now I no longer have possession over the over her. Yeah. She was mine. And now empathy has her. Okay. I want her back. Okay. Well, would you like to join her and see with empathy too? I mean, that could be nice for you. No. Okay. I want to get rid of empathy. She was mine, all mine. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, I feel complete with this. But now, is there anything anybody can suggest? I could explore something a little bit more. Yeah, okay. It feels it feels done because it's it's such a for Holly. This is such a like, what what who what is this feeling? Like it, there's a shock of their contact that has to be assimilated. So yeah, Holly, do you wanna uh, take your representative? There was just uh, when he said, um, "I she was mine. I want her back." Yeah. Um, I felt myself not say, "No way." <laughs> Good. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, Dax. Thank you, Karina. Thank you, Casey. Thanks, Mila. What was, what was it like for you, Holly, <laughs> to hear all of that? Um, that's quite something, you know. You can. It's almost like you're you're pushing away, you're inviting in, you're you don't know you're just you know back and forth and up and down and yeah, yeah. you don't have to watch it again just like <laughs> Casey said too just it's a lot and it's, yeah 
yeah. a very new concept. Empathy is so new and strange, but that's not how empathy feels about us. We're very seen, received, really like encouraged. Like it's that's the way empathy is treating us is like the long lost friend that can do no wrong. That needs to be held. being held. It's like you're being held all the time. Um, yeah. 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 But there's always that invitation and that, that you got to turn towards it. That's what I'm noticing so far in our conversation so far. Like there's a soothing, there's a softness, there's something, something that has happened. Because uh, empathy will not force itself upon us. Uh, wow, that was, that's been crazy so far. Okay. Um, I actually want to get, I don't know what it's like to be a representative in this kind of scenario. So what's it like to be, yeah. So I would actually like for me to be a representative, actually, just to, just to know what it's like to be on the other end. Uh, and kind of get a little better about pacing and timing and stuff like that. Uh, go ahead, Casey. Sorry, just before we do that, did you want the representatives to share what it was like? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you want me to start? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really, it was really interesting feeling that level of softness, I guess is the best way I can describe it, and openness, while simultaneously having a very clear energetic boundary to judgment like oh, i wow. can actually feel at the end um as dax as the representative was sharing um he wanted her back i was like nope no thank you not today and it was not rude or aggressive or harsh it was just no this is this is not your space this is no longer your space wow you'll have to figure out it was a very clear it was very um definitive but calm and peaceful and loving at the same time the antidote to judgment okay wow okay and how about uh to now about you as a representative it, yeah it's it's great hearing the feedback because when holly said it's up and it's down and it's there it's the, that's exactly how i felt yeah uh, okay and then when casey said this strong energetic boundary, that's exactly what I felt too. No way, Jose. Okay. So that's no very feeling. interesting for me because I'm new at this business of representing yeah. and I'm seeing the connectivity of it's uh, that gave me quite, you know, some uh, validation of the, of the technique, you know, like yeah. from the inside yeah. out. Yeah, so thank you. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, so who wants to represent me? Um, oh, sorry. I was going to, uh, representing uh, oh, yeah, judgment. the judgment, that was interesting. Uh, as soon as that boundary stepped forth, it was like a really bright light is how it represented and judgment was like this stood it out like really big and, and then it went like became small and the voice went from like really big to that really squeaky small wow and it like it got to a point where like judgments just like we started looking like a ghoul almost and okay. like every time we would try to reach out it would like burn and boils were on the skin is how it looked Represented wow. for judgment, how it looked like it was just this ghouly goblin thing, and I was just like, I know how to like set myself a boundary from that judgment. It took wow. on so much of a life of its own that it was almost trying to like become something else. So that's when I go, I think that's there are spirits involved, got heavy spirit investment in that. But I'm also noticing, I think definitely twice now the word bright has been used to, to describe empathy and the person, uh, if not all three times. There's something bright that happens to the person. 
when empathy is involved. That's a, that's a good one. Okay, so uh, who wants to represent me? Jill, you gonna do it again, Jill, after last time? I, <laughs> I got really called to do empathy for you. Maybe I kind of am feeling your dad. So I'm oh, like, <laughs> this really excited. Yay, we get to talk about it. Kind of nature. So I'm sorry, I'm a little embarrassed about it. But yeah, I, I got called to do empathy. <laughs> You're going to be empathy? Okay, good. Yeah. Who wants to do me? Uh, Casey. Uh, oh, Grace, can you run this one? Just in case. <laughs> Can I be trusted? Can I like? I don't think I should be running this because I I may be inexperienced. Uh, so who wants to represent my empathy or my judgment? I'll do judgment again. The more you do judgment, Dax, the more you become sensitive to what it feels like, and then you have better yeah, boundaries. That's what I'm, it just felt like it just felt <laughs> right to do judgment again because then I know the distinct feeling. Then I'll have it because yeah. like afterwards. I'm sitting here, and then all of a sudden I felt awake. Like I actually was awake, awake. I felt centered and present. And I was like, that's a distinct shift. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, so, yeah, Grace is basically just a conversation between the two. Okay. I will step back. Um, uh, Mila's representative, just, um, can you tell us how you're feeling right now? Um, a bit nervous and apprehensive. Um, cold and unsure um, I'm gonna start with empathy empathy Mila's empathy representative can you tell us how you feel about Mila We feel that, um, or I feel, uh, I feel the strength. I feel how strong Mila is. Um, but, We also want to, I don't know why I keep on saying we, um, I also want to ask her to desire me more, to desire me as empathy more, because there's amazing things we can do together, but I don't feel her desire for empathy for, for me um, is very strong. How does that make you feel that you feel like her desire for you isn't very strong? You're asking empathy, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um it well we're just kind of wait I'm just kind of waiting 
for her to to um turn my way because you know the times that she has I uh, we've been really or I've been really excited about it um but it it I would like it more there's there's um there's so much room here that and so much room for her that um we're just we're waiting for her Uh, Mila's representative, how do you feel with what you've just heard? Um, really uncomfortable. Um, it, it sounds really nice. Um, and I, I think a, a part of me wants to engage more, but I still don't believe that I deserve it. What do you feel like you have to do to deserve it? If you know. Um, I just feel like there's so much that I've done that was wrong that I have to fix first before I can receive something so nice. <laughs> How does empathy feel about that? Yeah, um, let's do it together. Um, like I said, there's there's so much room here that we just, I just want you to just to turn turn my way, and you'll be welcome with open arms because remember I am a part of you already so just just turn my way and you'll be welcome and loved and we can we can do all of the healing together okay judgment how do you feel about me? Nothing. They're bland. You... Sorry, say that again? They're very bland. Ah. Not very interesting. Very easy to pick up. He's a bit of a weak one. A bit of a pussy. And how do you feel about what empathy has just said? Couldn't care less. Mila's representative, how does that make you feel? Um, it's interesting. I hate the words that are being uttered by judgment, but I feel torn. I feel that judgment is familiar. And so I feel like half of me is trying to split towards judgment or maybe more than half. And then another piece is trying to split towards exploring or being curious with empathy. And and what does empathy feel about what judgment just said? I can feel judgment <clears throat> trying to 
I can feel judgment trying to take over. Um, but we're stronger. Mila and empathy together is so much stronger than judgment ever could be. Judgment, how do you feel about that? Bullshit. I'm stronger than them both. They're nothing compared to me. I'm bigger, I'm fatter, I'm stronger. I'll crush them. Make them mine. Make them my little bitches. What happens if Mila decides to be whole and in her whole state moves towards empathy? What if she chooses empathy? How would that make you feel? Very angry. She's been mine since day one. She won't choose. She chose me. How do you know? I don't know. I just feel more important. Like she gives you those feelings? Or you feel that way? She gives me those feelings. Empathy, or you just nodded. What was that about? I just want to point out to Mila that when, when you asked, what if? What if Mila chose empathy? What if Mila chose me? We, judgment got further away. So Mila's hang on to that what if. Sorry, hang on to that what if. Mila's representative, how, how are you doing? What are the feelings? Um, when I heard Empathy say, we're stronger together, I really liked that. Um, and I, I feel... Um, I do actually feel stronger when empathy said that, and I want to lean into that more. And then when I felt um, judgment get snarky, I thought, that's fine. I'd rather be with empathy if you're going to be like that. Still scared, but I like I like the idea of being stronger together. And judgment, how do you feel with what Mila just said? I'm gone. I can't see anything. I can't even hear anything anymore. Someone locked me away. I'm locked out. Okay. Thank you, Dex. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Casey. Thank you, Grace. Oof, I felt something lifted off of me when Dex started talking about I'm locked away. Yeah. Yeah, it was all uh it's all pretty pretty bang on actually. Uh, do you guys have more things you want to share as the representative? Um, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Casey. Sure. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, that 
we're stronger together, instant shift. Like, bang, instant shift. I was like, holy hell, what's that? Yeah. Like, in my yeah. whole being went, because I think I, uh, I think I shared this. At one point, I felt torn between the two. Literally, r- right off of judgment, hell no, right over to empathy. Yeah. yeah. Instantaneous switch. I felt it. As soon as she said it, I felt it myself. What do you mean we're stronger together while well, this is done? Let's go. <laughs> That's exactly Let's what I thought. Grace, shut it down. We're done. Yeah. Moving on. I don't need I to felt- talk anymore. And I was chuckling on the inside because I was like, holy crap. It was so, because I know you so well. Like, But having that feeling from you of that yeah. sensation that you do all the time, that's exactly what I felt in that moment. Nope, done. Bye, judgment. Done. If that's yeah. how you're going to be, we're good. We're complete. <laughs> yeah, that was it. I was ready to stop right there. Great. Okay, we, we're good. Moving on. <laughs> oh, my God. But there was actually, it was really good grace stayed on it because I felt the sensation when judgment said I'm locked out. I actually felt a physical sensation in me, a lightness. So that is the difference. I shouldn't just ignore it. There's something about removing judgment. And I'm going to have to now watch the recording again. <laughs> um, so. um, It felt very right side so very um like judgment was coming from men yeah. right from that male aspect of things yeah um and i still feel <laughs> i can still feel it on my my right side um but yeah it was just i i it almost felt like um yeah like you had turned to empathy a couple times but you weren't involving empathy at all. No. Right? So it was, that's kind of... Because judgment has got claws in me. I have to really fight it. And the the stronger, I wanted to also point out that the stronger together, um, because I know you're you're working through like power addiction, it's not about power. It's about, it's it's about that healing. Yeah. It's about healing. It's not about... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I felt it. Thank you. What was it like, Dax? Um, holy fucking shit. That was aggressive. Yes. That is the most aggressive I've thing I have felt. I can still feel it right in the center of my back. Yeah. Just a judgment was wanting to be so loud. And it wanted yeah, to yeah. use my voice so much. Yeah. And I'm like my ears were almost ringing for a second i'm just like holy crap this is a lot and just the way it just like judgments just the insults just throwing the insults almost like holy crap yeah uh it literally like went from just being in the corner like "Eh, whatever not caring and then it was like it shifted and then became like a monster literally and then this reddish lightning zappy thing and it was just like trying to come at you but it couldn't and i was just like holy who and then it was like all of a sudden i couldn't see nothing i couldn't see judgment no more okay jobs it was like it was locked in a wooden box that was completely tight sealed and buried yeah. with a lock that'll never come off Okay. Thank you. Well, the 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 voices are saying that I'm nothing. I'm nobody. I'll never amount to anything. I'm I'm nothing. I'm not interesting. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Well, thank you for doing that. Um, let's take a ten minute break, and I will continue. It probably have time for two or three more of this. Yeah. Ten minutes. All right, so continuing on. Who would like to represent Grace?
Uh, Holly. Okay, and who wants to represent Mesa's judgment? Casey and Grace's empathy, Selena. Okay. Okay. Take a moment to set your intention. Okay, so Grace's representative. How are you how are you feeling about having this conversation? You mute. You mute. I feel mute. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like I'm going to be exposed, and I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, we'll see how it goes, but um, a little shy about this and a little bit, um, yeah, a little bit exposed. And so, uh, but also interested at the same time. Um, yeah. And um, Grace's judgment representative. How do you feel about Grace? Uh, I have to make her as small as I can. Um, I can't uh, to make her as small as I can. I have a lot of panic um, about her and I think the world. Uh, I it just we need to be small, 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 small. Okay, seems to be coming from panic, from fear. Yeah, I'm terrified of everything. Okay. Okay, and cases, uh, sorry, Grace's representative, how did you feel hearing that from judgment? It feels about right, yeah. Um, I, I can relate to that and um, Yeah, that's, uh, on the other end, it's, it's, I, all I can think of is unfortunate, but yeah, um, that's, it's there. It's definitely there. Okay. Um, and Grace's empathy representative. How do you feel about Grace? Still, Grace's empathy is so tender, so soft. So shy. Very I'm finding I'm having trouble finding the words actually the 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 tenderness of it of the empathy. Okay. <clears throat> you feel very tender towards Grace? Towards Grace, towards how she yes, towards her yes, her empathy. Yeah. Okay. And Grace is representative. How do you feel hearing that? that that's, that's a part of you that feel very, very tender towards you. Um, right at the beginning, I felt like I was given a teddy bear. Um, okay. A cute and, yeah, just, it just, it felt like a gift, like a, um, something, um, something new and something brand new, like just like this, something was given to me and, and yeah, not that it's there already. I don't know. It just, yeah. 
It's nice and, and warm and fuzzy. <laughs> okay. And do you like to, would you like to um, receive that like more often or frequently? Yeah, I, I, it feels warm and inviting and I feel attracted, uh, drawn to, and I, I still don't know if I belong there, but I'm, yeah, I'm very drawn to it. Okay. And um, judgments representative, how do you feel that grace of someone that's very, very tender to her? Um, it just keeps bringing up more panic. I don't, I don't think that empathy gets it. I think there's, there's no safety in that. There's no security. It just feels so everything feels so terrifying okay okay so um grace's representative you've got you got one part of you that is terrified and wants to stay small and then you have another part of you that is tender warm inviting how are you feeling about these two different parts? Uh, it's definitely contrast. I, it's, I'm very unsure. Um, one feels so cold and and. And uh, I don't know, like, empathy feels so warm, but sometimes far away. I, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, there's. Like. Yeah, I'm not sure right now. Okay. It feels foreign. <laughs> it feels like yeah. I'm not sure about either one now, you know? Okay. When you're with empathy, where you feel the tenderness, the softness, the warmth, do you feel safe in it? Um, I feel there's safety in there, yeah. Uh, it feels friendly. It feels there is a certain safety. There's and, and kind of in the back is kind of a little bit of worry. I don't know if it's if it's like it's going to be taken away or something or okay you know, i'd like to be there but i don't want it to be snatched away from me okay empty what representative what can you say to grace to help uh you support her better uh, empathy I really like the teddy bear analogy. I wish I could just give everybody a teddy bear. Okay. And I didn't know exactly how I felt. So I'm I'm a little bit shy about sharing my empathy. Yes. But I, I want people to feel it. I do. Okay. I I want I want to have empathy feel my empathy. Just to feel that. But I am shy about it. 
to help Grace to, to be to understand the strength of empathy. Yes. Yes. That it's stronger than judgment. Okay. That can help her express the way she wants to express empathy. It would that would be that would be very incredible for for Grace to learn the strength of empathy. Uh and also the vulnerability in sharing that gift of empathy with others. Yeah, that's that's the fear, is that, that vulnerability. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So judgments representative, how do you feel about hearing the conversation so far? Um, Grace. Uh hearing that makes me aware of how exhausted I am. Okay. But I just um I want I want I want to take a break and not have to protect her, but I just feel like I'm in fight or flight. Okay. All the time. Okay. Well, Grace is going to explore how safe it feels to be with empathy. Because that place of tenderness and invite warm invitingness is a safe place. Grace is going to explore that option, hopefully, so that you don't have to worry about her so much because she's going to be in more safety. Okay. All right, I think this is a, a good place to stop. Thank you, Casey, Holly, and Selena. Just pat yourself. Come back, come back to your bodies. Thank you for that. Oof. Empathy is such a foreign concept to us, eh? Like, it's just like, all we can do today is just, it's almost like showing you a wall and saying, did you know that there's actually a door here? <laughs> I mean, it was the same for me when I was represented. It's like, oh, there's a door. <laughs> Not just a peephole. What's in here? Yeah. Uh, do you guys have more to share in being representative? Selena, Holly, Casey? Oh, that was a big emotion to feel. For me. It's a big one? Uh, it was a big emotion, yeah. Okay. Yeah, to feel that, to feel that bigness of it, the softness of it, and, and yet the vulnerability in it. You know. Um, just interesting to me at how strong judgment felt like it was a protective mechanism versus an attack on herself. Yeah. Like really, truly felt like it, it's, um, if I don't judge, I will lose my life. Wow. That, that's the, the strength behind it. Um, and again, just to reiterate hearing, um, empathy talk about, you know, how, how lovely it is to be in that, that space. And I don't remember the word surrender or something. Um, but the, the exhaustion immediately came in of how exhausted, like my whole body just felt so heavy. And I was like, I just want to lay down for years <laughs> and rest. Yeah, and wanting to wanting to reach out to the empathy, but then then pulling back because there's just it's it's you know um I don't know. Not that it's not allowed, it's just it's kind of like it, here, take this teddy bear. Here, yeah. Take it. I really want to <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> but don't make it too obvious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mm. what was that like for you Grace uh, well first like, like, thank you Selena thank you Holly thank you Casey um, uh, what Casey said about I'm, I'm exhausted I'm exhausted and, and I want to trust 
it. I want to trust empathy so badly, but I, I don't. Um, so it's like you said, Holly, it's like, I want to, I want to reach out, but I don't trust it. It's, it's not, it's not permanent. It's not going to stay. It's going to go away and then I'll be fucked. So I don't know. So I'm, yeah, I'm in this space in between where I'm like, okay, well, I can't keep doing this because I'm literally dying. I'm so tired, but like, uh, so, yeah. Thank you. Okay, Karina. Um, who can represent Karina? Dex? And who can represent Karina's judgment? Jess? And who wants to do empathy? Julia? Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for spreading their spreading the load a bit. We can all recover and take 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 turns. All right. Um, so uh, <clears throat> take a moment to set the intention to accurately represent. <clears throat> um, so Dax is representative, sorry, Black, Karina's representative, sorry, wrong way. Um, how are you feeling about being in this conversation? Cold. I'm really cold. Okay. I don't want to be here. It's okay. scary. And judgments representative. Um, how do you feel about Karina? I wasn't aware of Karina until you said her name. I just have this feeling of disgust towards everything. So Karina also, no, no more or less than my disgust towards anything else. Okay. You just feel disgust towards everyone, including Karina and everybody around her? I feel disgusted in general. Okay. So, Karina's representative, how did it feel to hear that from judgment? I don't know what to say. It, it hurts. It, it, it's... It just hurts. How does it make you feel about yourself? Worse than I already do. Okay. Um, so, Karina's empathy. How, how do you feel hearing that conversation between judgment and Karina? I feel strong. Okay. I feel, um, very sure that that I will get be chosen, but I am patiently waiting. I wait for moments where I can be with her, where she chooses some empathy. Okay. Um, but I feel very, very positive. Okay. About the future, my future with Karina. How do you feel about Karina? How do you see her? I see her struggling. And 
ignoring her true self, very beautiful part of her. Um, and she has that part of her that I see that truly wishes to be kind to every living thing that is willing to be of service. She wants to, there's a part of her that wants to choose me. Okay. What do you feel stops her from choosing you? She doesn't know me very well. Okay. She's hasn't chosen me very much for a long time. When she was young, she chose me more. Okay. So judgment, how do you feel about how empathy feel about Karina? Uh I feel super uncomfortable when empathy speaks. Okay. Like felt itchy on my left side of my head. I feel um like squirmy, like I don't I just feel really uncomfortable and okay. I like rolling my eyes and like ugh, just shut up shut up um towards empathy um okay. and also when um Korean's representative spoke um the feeling i had was you are so pathetic um i'm feeling that judgment is a, like a bully yeah. and judgment is actually very insecure but yeah. like this is the feeling I'm getting from it but yeah. like just shut up and you're pathetic and but it's feels very empty okay and Karina's representative how do you feel from hearing these two different sites reflected okay it's hard to see Okay. I just don't know what's right, which way to go. Okay. What do you think will happen to you if you choose empathy? I feel scared to choose empathy. But I also feel even more scared to choose judgment. Yeah. Empathy said that um, she feels strong and confident about you and towards you. How's that sound for you? It sounds nice, but I don't believe it. Okay. How can you test out if this is valid? encourage myself to look at it okay yeah to really look at it not just say i look at it but to look with my eyes to open them to actually see see empathy yes okay All right, and um, empathy's representative, how do you feel you can encourage Karina? I 
feel that if she's willing to pray for courage to choose me, that it would be helpful. Okay. So right now she does feel that she does not really believe that I, her empathy is strong. Okay. This is, the judgment is stronger. So if she's willing to pray and ask God for courage to choose empathy. Okay. That's a beautiful prayer. Okay. I feel like that's a good place to stop right there. Again, it's like too much information and stuff to actually feel about. But just introducing the ideas a lot. So, Trina, if you want to thank your representative. Thank you, Dax and Jess and Virginia. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, golly. Um, I was very uh, encouraged when Virginia said, what she said because I have been actually working with my little baby oh, yeah. and um, making some headway with uh, empathy for myself um, and my inner children and so that was very encouraging okay. um, yeah and uh, yeah I'm de definitely going to listen to it again <laughs> yeah <laughs> well yeah, Thank I didn't go too far. Like it, it's just, I feel like even even just pointing. There's supposed to be a door over here. It's already like we are all like a little bit. Yeah. And also, also, um, when she said, um, she wants to be kind to every living thing. That really is so true. That is yeah. that's very big in me. Yeah. Yeah. So no, it was okay. great. Thank you very much. And the representative, any uh, more information you got? Um, I started to, like judgment started to even feel the validity of what um, Virginia and Dax was saying. It was like, okay. I, like, it started to just like dissolve. It was like faded away almost. Okay. And Dax, what was it like for you to hear all the different um, parts? It was definitely interesting. Um, when I represented Karina, I felt like my eyes were very swollen. Like it was hard to even just open. They felt like, and then when you were asking the questions, a thing that popped up was that representing that I presented Korean was like, I wanted to say I'm allergic to everything. Because I felt like the eyes were just so swollen from yeah. crying or just some allergic reaction. They just like, yeah. I had was like, it was like my face was squinting and it just felt so swollen around the eyes. Okay. And then when judgment was talking, I seen um a small chopping axe just spinning. It would Oof. stop and then spin, spin, spin. Like someone was flipping it with no hand, but it was at that type of moment. It was spinning in the air and the bean caught and then spun again. Okay. Wow, thank you. Okay, well, that's uh, there's a lot of stuff to just introduce the concept of empathy and then uh, we'll see where we go to next week, continuing on this topic.